We've put together this little video to help you follow along with the assembly instructions in your manual. Please note that we make every effort to make the assembly process as problem-free and safe as possible. However, it is a characteristic of fabricated steel parts to potentially have sharp corners and edges, so we recommend that you wear work gloves and safety glasses during the assembly process. Patricia and Dawn will be our assemblers today. Let's get started, shall we? It is a good idea to remove all cart panels, hardware, and components packed inside grill head. Use the parts list to ensure all parts are included. Keep all the hardware together in the tin foil drip tray that is provided. Remove all of the protective covering on the stainless steel parts. Now to the actual building of your new Mirage grill. Starting with the bottom panel, snap magnet into slots in front of bottom shelf. Attach the four casters using four quarter 20 by 3 8 inch screws and four quarter 20 lock nuts for each caster. Attach brackets under front casters. Tighten screws. Remember, the non-revolving caster goes to the left side of the grill. For propane units only, Attach the tank ring into slots in bottom of shelf. Using your hammer, gently tap tabs over to secure in place. Install side panels, ensuring slots in panels are to the top. Rest panel on bottom shelf and line up holes. Fasten using four number 14 by half inch screws. Fit rear cart panel between the two end panels. Note, large hole in panel is to the bottom right hand corner. Fasten using six number 14 by half inch screws, three on each side. Attach condiment basket to right panel. For propane grills, clip propane tank mount into slots in back panel. Attach magnet brackets to bottom of top rail using two number 14 by half inch screws per bracket and snap magnets into place as shown. Fasten top rail assembly to the front of side panels using four number 14 by half inch screws. For ease of installation, start all screws before tightening completely. For propane units only, Attach heat shield above propane tank ring, one end under lip of back panel and hole, and the other end to underside of front cabinet support. Two people are required for this step. For propane units, prior to mounting the grill head, remove the zip tie holding the regulator up under the control panel. Lift grill head and place on assembled cart, lining up holes in top of side cart panels with holes in bottom of base. Fasten from inside using four quarter 20 by 3 8 inch screws, two per side. Install rotisserie mount bracket to left side of barbecue. Install battery pack below vent slots on left-hand panel using the supplied double-sided tape. Plug wire from LED lights located underneath control panel into wire from battery pack. Attach corresponding end caps to side shelf and side burner using 5 quarter 20 by 3 8 inch screws. Insert four quarter 20 by 5 8 inch screws through washers into threaded holes inside of base. Do not tighten all the way. Slide assembled side shelf over screw heads and then finish tightening. Slide assembled side burner over screw heads and finish tightening. Fit orifice into burner tube and secure with hose retainer clip supplied. Attach wire from manifold to side burner electrode. Attach front fascia to center of support beam. 
slide top of fascia up under support beam, resting bottom on bottom of shelf. Fasten with four number 14 by half inch screws. For propane units only, insert one end of tank inhibitor rod into hole in back panel and the other end into hole in back side of fascia. Take one side enclosure panel and place on solid surface. Fasten top and bottom to side using eight number 14 by half inch screws. Repeat for other side. To install side enclosure, insert two number 14 by half inch screws into holes in back of side cabinet panel. Do not tighten. Slide enclosure over two screw heads. Hold in place and insert four number 14 by half inch screws into remaining holes. Tighten all screws. Repeat for other side. Attach the supplied thread caps to the threads of the screws inside your grill cabinet, both top and bottom. Insert bushing into either end of bottom shelf and into either end of side enclosures. Install door handle onto front of door using two quarter twenty by three eighth inch screws and two quarter inch washers per door. Holding door in one hand, direct pivot rod into hole in underside of front beam. Once secure, let rod slide down and through hole in bottom of door and into bushing in bottom shelf. Repeat for side enclosure doors. Insert cooking grills into unit so they sit on back and front lip of base. Rest warming rack on brackets inside hood. Clip the wire grease tray holder into the two holes located in the center of the back panel. Place the aluminum grease tray into the grease tray holder. Slide drip pan into rear of base. Ensure drip pan rides along rails on bottom of base. And voila! Your assembly is complete. All you have to do now is set up your rotisserie and do a complete leak test. For instructions on leak testing your grill, please view the How to Leak Test video. Happy grilling!